Good morning, everyone. <coughs> well, the title of this summit, Making India Future Ready, reminds me of the buzzword which we had been hearing for the last 10, 15, 20 years about the demographic dividend of India. Well, we do possess a demography uh, with the youngest population under 35, but that demography will convert into a dividend depends on how we teach, educate, and scale our people. So, talking about the education and its sector and the role it has played in our country, we have come a long way from our traditional education systems, uh, Google system, to the Macaulay education system, and in the current scenario. Technology has always been uh, uh, in the use in this sector in different forms, but nothing has made more impact on it about its visibility and its need uh, than the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, it made teachers, students, governments, and all the actors involved in this sector to adapt to, uh, adapt to the post-pandemic world. And right now, we are, in the, uh, we are in the scenario where we find that education tech, uh, ed tech uh, startups are the, in top three sectors of being most funded in the country. Well, technology can provide us tools, methods, and other ways to impart education. It also helps in cutting down the cost of the education. Well, as per ET research, the cost of educating, educating in a private school for a, uh, for a child from, a, from the age of 3 to 17 lies to the tune of around 30 lakhs. It, it can also make education interesting for the students, and it, it can also uh, increase the reach of the education. So considering this, uh, we see the government has taken a lot of initiatives. If we talk about the government of India, during the pandemic, they launched a comprehensive PME with their scheme, where they combined the Diksha, uh, Diksha Swam portals, and Swam Prabha TV channels into one, one platform. Apart from that, national education policy also talks a lot about the use of technology in the field of education. It has also gone ahead by setting up a national education technology forum. Now, when we talk about uh, Uttar Pradesh, due to the sheer numbers of our state, it becomes very important that how Uttar Pradesh teaches, educates, and skills its people, it's definitely going to affect uh, uh, India about its position and standing in the world. So we have been, uh, uh, last year, the scheme was introduced to the largest scheme to distribute uh, tablets and smartphones. We as a department are also collaborating with the education department uh, in a lot of uh, initiatives. The latest being the rollout of uh, smart classes in close to 18,000 schools and another scheme for tablet, tablets. But, uh, but a word of caution here. Though technology can provide us tools, the number of smart classes, number of tablets, and number of smartphones can measure the output of our success of our schemes. But the outcome has to be measured by the learning levels. And we see in the SA report year by year the learning levels of our students going down. That's an area of concern which we'll have to look into, that how we use this technology to enable our teachers, to enable our students in getting, an, in getting a quality education. Now, uh, using this forum and this opportunity to talk about the digital initiatives in the, uh, along with talking about the digital initiatives in the field of education, I also want to talk about the role of IT and electronics department, which it's, it has been playing uh, in, um, in, in enabling the actors working in this field. Well, the role of government uh, from the past has changed a lot from the regulator to the facilitator, and especially in the field where uh, every day new technology is coming, the role of government should be envisaged as a facilitator. So the number of policies which we are implementing in these fields, if we talk about the investment promotion policies, we are implementing IT policy, electronics manufacturing policy, and data center policy. Well, when uh, we talk about ed tech, all these sectors, all these sectors are going to help in developing the tools in, uh, in developing the tools in the education field. Apart from that, a very important policy which we are implementing is a startup policy, which is directly related to this field, because many of these startups are coming up uh, uh, every day. And as I, as I said, that ed tech sector is the third most funded sector in the startup uh, scenario. And many of the unicorns are being generated from this field, uh, field only. 
Apart from that, the in the future, what uh, we are bringing, we are uh, bringing out an AVGC policy and as well as a cyber security policy to give a secured framework for everyone to work into. When we talk about the citizen-centric uh, services, we are maintaining a district portal, which is providing 274 services to the citizens directly at uh, their doorstep, either through uh, directly applying online or through the Janseva Kains, uh, which we are operating. An important, uh, an important field in which the IT Electronics Department works through our policies is establishment of center of excellences. Uh, we have currently we are currently learning center of excellence for AI for uh, medtech for uh, lithium ion batteries at uh, CDEC, as well as uh, one in the field of drone is coming up. The center of excellence for AI is of particular interest uh, for the uh, uh, from the point of view of the education sector, as we see that as in uh, as in when the role of AI uh, increases, it's going to make the education tools more human like the technology to tools more human like and it will make it easy to adopt well towards the conclusion of my talk i would uh, again congratulate uh, elites and uh, wish them for success uh, as well as thank them for providing us a forum to talk about education Usually for the government departments, uh, we are in the process of implementing and we spend less time in the process of planning. So the for, um, as I had also asked uh, uh, the employees of my organization to definitely attend this, uh, this, for, uh, this forum because education is something which needs to be talked about, which needs to be planned. And as in when we are introducing, introducing any technology factor in the system, we must appreciate that how, uh, how the outcomes of learning levels are being, going to be increased by that and the content which will work upon it. Definitely, I also thank uh, uh, Microsoft for being a partner in this uh, initiative and congratulate, uh, congr uh, congratulate them on different initiatives they have taken in this field. And with the partnership of government of UP, we'll definitely take them forward. Thank you.